Yo, what is going on everyone? My name is Nick, or The Notorious Fantasy, and in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys Fantasy Football 2020 Quarterback Sleepers. Now, make sure to click that subscribe button, because these sleepers right now that I'm making in March may not be too valid in August, so make sure to click that subscribe button so you get a more updated list in August as these guys' ADP starts to rise or fall so that you can find value at every single position. So let's get right into the video. Fantasy Football 2020 Quarterback Sleepers. First sleeper on here is Danny Dimes, Daniel Jones of the New York Football Giants, quarterback number 17 on Fantasy Pros. Now, right now, there is no real ADP to look at. So these are just what the analysts, a consensus of analysts have him as. Quarterback number 17. Now, to me, that is immense value. Quarterback number 24 in 2019. He played 13 games, but he really started just 12 because it was one game where Eli Manning wasn't playing so good. They threw Daniel Jones in there. 16.5 points per game 284 completions on 459 total attempts 24 passing touchdowns 13th amongst quarterbacks 3027 passing yards 24th amongst quarterbacks 45 carries for 279 rushing yards 7th amongst quarterbacks and two rushing touchdowns 13th amongst quarterbacks now these stats don't scream like an amazing quarterback it does not but I think that the value here for Daniel Jones is quite good last season he came in being the backup he eventually became the starter on the team because Eli Manning was a walking trash can and Daniel Jones got the opportunity and Daniel Jones did have multiple games where he was a quarterback one in fantasy football sure he was a bit inconsistent but he was playing with some guys that weren't the best overall players on the team the wide receiver core was getting diminished there was weeks where it was just Darius Slayton pretty much, and then Evan Ingram was out a majority of the time. Saquon was out some of the time. So I think that with the whole core of the team active, the New York Giants will actually not look too bad in 2020. I think that Daniel Jones is a very safe back end sleeper kind of a pick. He's ranked 17. He has the potential to be a top 12 guy on a lot of weeks. Now he plays in the NFC East, which in, as a whole is kind of a weak division. They play the Redskins twice. The Redskins aren't that good. The Eagles, the Cowboys, they always play close with these teams. And he has that rushing floor that you want in a fantasy football quarterback. 45 carries for 279 rushing yards, 7th amongst quarterbacks, and 2 rushing touchdowns, 13th amongst quarterbacks. And those rushing stats will go up in 2020. He will run the ball more. That is just what is going to get to happen. He's going to get more comfortable running the ball. He only played in 13 games, so I think that in 2020, it was 16 game slate as the starting guy. The starting thing is very important to me. Last season, I said he was coming in as the backup. When he's the starter, he's going to be getting the starting reps in training camp, the starting reps in practice early in the season to develop a connection with these guys on the team that he's going to be throwing the ball to a whole lot. So I think in 2020, Daniel Jones is the upside to be a top 12 quarterback, potential top 10 quarterback, and I think that a lot of people are sleeping on him just due to the fact that Daniel Jones last season coming into the draft was probably the worst pick most people have ever seen. Daniel Jones goes ahead of guys like Haskins, ahead of other guys that are certified names that people believe will be great in the NFL, but he is the first quarterback pick. People blame him. Oh, you bunch of idiots, Dave Gettleman. You don't know how to draft the team, this, that, and the other thing, but Daniel Jones was actually pretty good. I think people are still going to hate on him as well because he is a New York football Giants quarterback. The Giants are not the best team, let's just say it, but I think they will be better in 2020. I think that Daniel Jones is flying high in 2020. Now, the next quarterback to talk about here is Matthew Stafford, Detroit Lions quarterback, quarterback number 13 on Fantasy Pros. Now, quarterback 13, he's not necessarily a sleeper, but he kind of is in some way because people are sleeping on his talent. Now, in 2019, his numbers were not very hot when you're looking at him as a whole, but if you look a bit deeper, you could find some real gems here. Quarterback number 29 in 2019, eight total games played, 20.8 points Per game, 187 completions on 291 attempts, 19 passing touchdowns, 24th amongst quarterbacks, 2,500 passing yards, 29th amongst quarterbacks, 20 carries for 66 yards, 29th amongst quarterbacks, and zero rushing touchdowns now. He's not a guy that you're picking late that is going to run the ball a million times. Matthew Stafford is a is a pocket passer. He does not roll out of the pocket very much and try to run the ball. He ran the ball only 20 times in eight games. Project that out to 16 games, he's going to rush it 40 times. But what he does is he puts up fantasy football numbers 20.8 points per game. That is the main stat to look at here. This man is airing the ball out all game long. People want to say that the Detroit Lions are going to try to be more of a run-heavy team, and even if they run the ball, 
when Matt Stafford's healthy, he's going to be heaving the rock down the field. He is one of those gunslingers like his name was Brett Favre. Matt Stafford is a very good quarterback, and in seasons prior, this man was on a roll. He did end up getting hurt this season, which does worry me because that's two years in a row dealing with a back injury like he's your grandfather, but that is okay because Matthew Stafford is going to prevail in 2020. If he is healthy, he will continue to be a top 10 quarterback like we've seen in years past, and he was a top 10 quarterback a lot of the weeks when he was healthy. 20.8 points per game. That's probably the most points per game you're going to see out of any of the quarterbacks from 2019 on this list. I think that he has the potential to be a top 10 guy. I think he has the potential to be a top 5 guy. Matt Stafford is a guy that even though the Detroit Lions are never going to be that good, Matt Stafford will still put up those fantasy football numbers. Now on to the third quarterback on my list. If you guys have enjoyed this video thus far, please make sure to click that subscribe button. And if you guys want to get in the next video, go on Apple Podcasts, click the link down below for that, and make sure to leave a review and comment, leave a five-star review and comment something, and I'll read it on the next video. So the third guy here is Horsecock Drew Locke of the Denver Broncos, quarterback number 27 on Fantasy Pros. Now, he finished quarterback number 37 in 2019, five games, 13.6 point per game, 100 completions on 156 attempts, seven passing touchdowns, 33rd amongst quarterbacks, 1,027 passing yards, or 1,020 passing yards, 38th amongst quarterbacks, 18 carries for 72 rush yards, 27th amongst quarterbacks, and zero rushing touchdowns. Now, the Denver Broncos looked very good down the stretch, actually. Drew Locke looked very good. Now, the Denver Broncos had a carousel of quarterbacks. It was Joe Flacco, the elite one, and then it was Brandon Allen, and then it was Horsecock, Drew Locke, and Drew Locke had the moxie that you want to see in a quarterback. He has the swagger. He was singing that song on the sideline. You can see that he knows what to do to be a quarterback, and he's a bit of a cocky bastard, just like his name was Baker Mayfield, but that's okay to me. I like Horsecock, Drew Locke. I think that Drew Locke in 2020 will put up solid numbers. I think he could be a top 14 quarterback in 2020, and that would not really surprise me. I think a lot of people are going to sleep on Drew Locke because the Broncos are not the hottest team when you think about it. Think about who they have on offense. Right now, before free agency, Cortland Sutton and a bunch of bums, okay? That's what they have. They have Cortland Sutton and a bunch of bums and Philip Lindsay, and they don't trust Royce Freeman, so they're probably going to get a new running back. So what the fuck? They don't really have too many options, but Drew Locke did what he did with those options. 100 completions on 156 attempts. Seven passing touchdowns in five games is not that hot, but I think he will get hot getting a lot more use in training camp, a lot more use in the preseason games, a lot more use in the regular season practices. He needs to practice as the starting quarterback. When you start the year as the starter, you have so much more of an advantage. I don't think most people understand that. He is going to have the advantage being the starting quarterback early in the offseason. He's going to be getting those reps that you want to see. He's going to be seeing the first team offense. He was typically throwing to the second team offense or the third team offense. Drew Locke was not the main guy. He wasn't even the second best option on the team. He was the third best option, but in reality, he was the best option of them all. In 2020, I think that Drew Locke really does have the potential to be a top 15 guy, and I would not very much be surprised if he was a top 10 guy, and he has potential to finish top 10, top 12 every single week. I think that the Denver Broncos look far better in 2020. And now on to the final quarterback of the video, money man, Ryan Tannehill of the Denver Broncos. Quarterback number 15 on Fantasy Pros. They gave Ryan Tannehill the bag. They gave Ryan Tannehill the cash he needs to be the quarterback for the next four years for the ten Tennessee Titans now. Personally, I'm a Dolphins fan. I don't really believe in Ryan Tannehill, but I think he will put up solid numbers during the fantasy season. Quarterback number 22 in 2019, 12 games played, but he only started 10 of those. He came in relief of Marcus Mariota a couple of times. 18.7 points per game. God damn, you dirty bitch, Ryan Tannehill. That is amazing. 201 completions on 286 attempts, 22 passing touchdowns, 16th amongst quarterbacks, 2,742 passing yards, 28th amongst quarterbacks, 43 carries for 185 yards. In the rushing game, 15th amongst quarterbacks and four rushing touchdowns, fourth amongst quarterbacks. Now, Ryan Tannehill isn't going to super sprint his way into the end zone like Lamar Jackson, but he will run the ball a bit and he will score some rushing touchdowns. Now, the only worry to me about Ryan Tannehill, why I can see why he's ranked at number 15 is because of the playoffs. In the playoffs, they handed the ball to Derrick Henry as often as possible. That man was, was literally carried the the um, Tennessee Titans on his back like he was Dora's backpack into the 
AFC Championship game. And I think they will continue to hand the ball to Derrick Henry a lot. They franchise Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry is going to be back in 2020. But I think Ryan Tannehill is still going to throw the ball in the regular season. They're still going to air the ball out. They have solid options at the wide receiver position. They've got A.J. Brown. I hate Corey Davis, but he may actually have the potential to be a fifth-year breakout, fourth-year breakout, I believe because Ryan Tannehill is going to be getting more reps with him and learn to throw the ball to him, and maybe he can figure it out. But Ryan Tannehill is going to be good in 2020. He was on fire. He was a league winner in 2019, Ryan Tannehill was, and most people would not believe you if you said that at the beginning of 2019. Most people thought that Marcus Mariota was better than him, but that was not the truth at all. Ryan Tannehill is a solid quarterback in the NFL, and he will be a solid fantasy football quarterback. Quarterback number 15 is a bit low for him. I think he has the potential to finish inside of the top 10 as well. I think that people are going to move him up, so he may not be too much of a sleeper when it comes to drafts in August, but I still think a lot of people are not going to buy in on Ryan Tannehill, just like be strictly because in Miami, he was never that guy. He some well, he kind of was that guy, but he eventually figured it out here in Tennessee, and maybe this is just the perfect fit for Ryan the GOAT Tannehill. So thank you guys all for watching this video. If you ended up enjoying this video, please make sure to click that subscribe button that's on the screen right here. Click that follow button if you are listening on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, all those other things that this is on. Click one of the videos above me. Make sure to watch a different or listen to a different video if you're on Spotify or listening on audio. Have a great rest of your day. I love each and every single one of you guys. Make sure to tell your loved ones you love them because any day could be your last. Goodbye, my friends.